This year, the Royals celebrate 50 years in Kansas City, making today's Fan Fest even more special. So we sent 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan there with one mission. Well, they call it Fan Fest for a reason. Right now, all the fans are coming into Bartle Hall. My mission is to find the biggest Royals fan here. Get set, go! We found plenty of fast fans racing down the bases and one super fan known as much for his running as his optimism. I'm believing it's going to be a super good season. You know, don't worry, we're building it and we got good coaching, good staff. It's going to come together and just keep on being super fans and you're going to see a, a very good season. I'll tell you that. Then there were such big fans, they have jerseys with their own names. Rootman, right yeah, here. Yeah, Rootman, that's him. But Joe hopes his son learns a thing or two from the pros to end up playing with the Royals. So one day, you think your son will be playing for the Royals? I hope so. Then we spotted a fan with a good luck charm we couldn't ignore. You wear this at the game? Yes, absolutely, every time, for good luck. For good luck, I like it. And what do people say to you at the stadium? Uh, they usually compliment me on the hair. Lastly, we found the 41 Action News booth full of diehards like Lindsay Shively. I have a 2015 World Series shirt and a 1985 World Series sweatshirt. They're both in the laundry today, so I had to go with the pennant. But, you know, we've just been so awesome, you have so many options. Go Royals! And even if you aren't the biggest Royals fan, well, there's plenty of gear here to get you feeling in that Royal kind of mood. But throughout my quest all over the convention center, I can't just choose one Royals fan. There's so many dedicated fans out here. At Bartle Hall, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News. Fan Fest wraps up tonight at 7 o'clock. The Royals have about two months until they take over Kauffman Stadium. If you can believe it, this season's home opener is coming up March 29th against the Chicago White Sox.